Welcome back for more Resident Evil Revelation, ladies and gents. Hope you're doing well. My name is Lewis, aka Man New Man here, and today this is going to be the finale, the final episode of this Revelation title. So after this episode, I can give it a tick on the sixth title that I'm going to play on the path of Resident Evil 8 Village. So what happened in the last episode is that Christian and Jill need to get the hell out of the Queen Zenobia ship before it blows up. But we got this sea monster hogging the ship, hogging the escape route for Leon, for Leon, for Chris and Jill. Um, so yeah, they need to go away and we are about to fight the boss. Um, what can go wrong, right? So that being said, let's crack on with it. Let's gun down this boss. Let's go. Resident Evil Revelations. Previously, Previously. Resident Evil Revelations. Hold it right there. She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. Look, Parker got himself into trouble, okay? It appears my bright. He's the one that is too naive. Parker. Revelations. God damn, I've been enjoying this, man. I, w I wasn't going to film the same day um, on the finale, which I did for. I, I filmed three episodes already in Revelations. Um, I wasn't going to film it today, the finale today, but I thought, you know what, I really enjoy this game, let's just beat the game, finish the game, and so I thought, yeah, let's turn the camera back on and let's get going with it. Okay. This is Hatrick, do you read? So we still got Kirk. This is not possible at this time. I'll execute a holding pattern. Hatrick out. So that's hat trick, Kirk, just hanging around. That's a massive monster. Created? We can do this, Chris. We can do this, Chris. I don't know what to aim. I don't know where to aim. Okay, so we need to shoot shoot all these. Do we have we got herbs, but I dropped off some ammo for you. Ah, thank you. Thanks, Kurt. Yeah. I need some ammo. Oh, Jesus. What do you mean target not found? I dropped off some ammo for you. I'm gonna need that. Please give me a uh, SMG. Oh, okay.
Oh. I thought I picked up the uh, rocket launcher. I did. God damn. Hey, got it. God damn it. I'm gonna die. I got no health, man. I'm so confused with what the fuck I'm doing, man. No, I missed it! Fuck! See you in hell, bitch! Come on, Kurt. Drop me something. Iframe. What now? Come on up. Where's the love? Ah, okay, just gonna see. All right, okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, look at it. Come on, Chris. That was cool. Hold on. I'll get us out of here. No, not yet. We can't let this thing roam free. Agreed. Haha, <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Mini gun time. Ready, Love Chris? it. Oh, Chris is always ready, man. I'm guessing just shoot the tentacles. Guess, guess it the other way. God damn it. I, I needed to recharge. I needed to cool down. There you go, let's all cool down. Just just beam, just beam, just beam. Nice. Yeah, you might want to move a little bit, mate. This, this is oh that parasite just went back into the um to the body damn oh wow I almost uh, over almost overheated my minigun just then I 
I need to cool it down. And it loads. Oh, I need to cool the cool the gun down. God damn. Yes, Kirk. Good flying, man. Oh, Jesus. Almost got us. Oh, yes, Kirk. Ooh, ooh. Kirk, you're better than Mike, man. Remember Mike from Resident Evil 4? I am doing that. Chris is doing a really good job, to be honest. We just need it to uh, open the mouth and then we can go for the home run. Oh, that was close. Chris is on it though. Damn it indeed man, there's so many of them. This is just breeding parasite after parasite. Did we kill it? No, whoa. Red smoke's coming out of it, what the hell? Oh, yes. Yeah! God damn. Parasite down. Oh. And that's all she wrote for the Zenobia. It's me. What's happening? On our way out. We lost Parker. Jessica took the whole ship down. The FBC? Well, Morgan. Was one step ahead of us the whole way. Yes, I see. I hate to think this could all be a mistake. My mistake. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Yeah, don't leave right. anything out. It all started one year ago. There you go, one some year, juicy year. lore. Are we getting play... Are we going to play someone else? 69% accuracy. One deaths. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad as soon as I know what to do with it. Um, his attack pattern was very easy to predict. Um, just need to keep it move up, move about, kind of thing. Are we in hell? Yes. They call it Terra Grigia. Okay. This place won't last much longer. So back to Terragigia with, uh... Whoa! There's hunters, hunters anywhere, man. I've got no ammo now. Oh, wow. I absolutely got nothing. Come on, Jessica. i got nothing. i got four bullets. Yeah. The boss has pushed for an expansion of the FPC's purview. This is just the kind of thing he was warning the world about. And this incident will bring the crisis to the limelight. It could be good PR, really. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe the international community will finally get the message. The FBC has a lot of growing to do. It's all, you know, what what Morgan did is literally just for the FBC to grow. Yeah. 
I'm glad you got some uh, machine gun ammo. Shit. Stop jumping around. God damn it. God damn it, that's all I have, man. I think that's the last of them. Good. Any machine gun ammo, mate? You all right there? I'll be fine. You don't look fine. You got slash there. Alright, somebody lend him a shoulder. Parker. HQ has told you to leave. But I can still fight. You're not convincing me. Come on, grab on. I mean that's a bad scratch. Out. There are civilians out there. We have to do something. Heavily outnumbered. We have to regroup. Yeah, I mean, what can we do? BOW against civilian that don't know how to defend themselves over like BOWs. You know what I mean? Men who aren't them? The BOWs. <laughs> These terrorists must be brought to justice. Blast it! Well, there was no terrorists. Uh, we, le we learned that from the last episode. There wasn't any terrorists at all. Um, it, it was all made up from this group called Veltro. It was all made up by Morgan. Um, well, it's not made up. They, they, they are. There is a terrorist group, but it's not as. Um, they didn't. More. Too young to play hero. Earn some strikes before you get yourself killed. Um, there is a terrorist group, but the resources and the virus that they got was actually provided by um, Morgan. So, Jessica, you didn't fuck all, mate. I know you're a spy, but not in here. Not one year ago. I hate it when they do that little hoppy step. Funny hop. I'm running out of ammo, mate. You better, you better have some spare ammo somewhere, somewhere soon. This is, this is, uh, this is a really bloody route. Not good. You're losing blood. It's too dangerous to move. He needs immediate first aid. We should be okay here. Be back, cadet. Don't go anywhere. Everything will be okay. All right, let's go, Parker. Let's go, Parker. Let's find something good for our buddy. Oh, thank God. Thank God for some machine gun ammo. Cause I can't search anything. What ammo they give us is what I'm gonna get. So unfortunately, not a lot. But hopefully this room is full of ammo. Ah, not really. Okay. Oh well, a hand grenade. Hand grenade is always good. And a herb. Nah, it's pretty okay. I was hoping for more machine gun um, ammo because I, I could really do some right now. But oh well. How do they know that that place is safe anyway? The hunters can just roam around and just get him anytime he wants, right? It's nothing new, but aren't you a little hard on the new guy? You mean Raymond? The only way those guys will grow up is with a little towel standing. <sighs> okay, fine. Guys in your little games. Guys are the little games. Oh. 
Doesn't look like I can get through here. Um, you can. You can just jump over it, where, um, Parker. This is oh shit. Serious. They'll take the in no time. Ooh. Wire! The four for all, right? Oh yeah, this is the one. Why are you just giving me handgun ammo? Give me some machine gun, man. Give me some pew pew, you know what I mean? I need some... I want some pew pew. Shit. Doesn't help the fact that I waste some ammo. Ah! Oh! Hand grenade. Oh yes, Jessica. Nice critical hit. Yeah, I can punch you. Ooh, wire. He's dead. Machine gun ammo. That's always welcome. Anything else here? Not too sure. Oh yes, hell yeah. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. I know you're giving us ammo because there's a fight coming up, but I don't care. Here we are. Just what I need. This should do for the meantime. Well, let's go back to Cadet. More hunters. If you can hear me, get back here now. Raymond's in trouble. We have to go back. Yeah, we're going back. Don't take it out on him. It's not his fault. Why is it not his fault? He's got himself injured. So. I think it's pretty short. It's pretty much his fault. He got, he got into trouble. Hello, guys. Bye, guys. That one hit kill thing from the hunters again. Oh, that's bullshit. I have to come Just all the way back from there. Oh, I'm gonna punch you to death. Why a hammer? Ooh. Got a little bit of air on that. Alright, safe and sound. Now we can take care of our little cadet. Oh, oh, Alright. Ten out of ten, probably. <laughs> it's good that you didn't get infected from the hunters, though. No more heroics. End up getting the whole unit killed. I guess because of his hair, he's quite a memorable character. Otherwise, he's very pretty, pretty forgetful. I should be able to walk. Then follow us. The elevator to the command room is right there. Okay, let's go then. Think you can move, Cadet? I can fend off anything that comes our way. Oh, can you now, Jessica? He wasn't doing very much back there. Ah, uh, diddles. Okay, got some ammo. Stop giving me pistol, man. I don't want pistol ammo. Oh, so the F. BC. What now? Think about it. The delivery and dispatchment of these POWs. It's too professional. And how did they manage to evade the FBC? 
CCC's vast intelligence network. It just doesn't add up. Unless somebody wanted this to happen. Cadet, you're mm. stepping out of bounds. We're not here to investigate this thing. We're here to resolve it. Well, in order to resolve it, you need to investigate it, right? But everything it is Parker, you're just too innocent. You're just too naive, mate. So Raymond knew all along, like, this is, like, fishy. You know what I mean? And then... There's hunters everywhere. The command room's close by. Just keep our cadet alive. Keep our cadet alive. I mean, he should really keep up. And this is crazy, man. Just, just fighting hunters. Oh, that's huge, huge damage. Fighting hunters, like groups of them as well. Imagine doing that in like Resident Evil One. That, that's crazy. But I, I quite like the mix of survival horror and survival action. Um, this game is still kind of leaning towards survival action, I would say. Uh, but the elements of... Is that it? He hasn't made it yet. Give him some cover. Yeah, I think majority of this, to be honest, is still pretty survival action. Um... Yeah, uh, but I still, I still like the fact how they're trying to um, balance this out, you know? Is that it? Can we go in now? That should be the last of the hunters. Alright. I would hope so. Let's hit the command room. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I just knew once I have machine gun ammo, I'll, I'll be fine with it. The Hunters is not no match to me. Splendid news. Everything is in perfect order. Everything's in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration on the Queen Dido, Norman. Morgan, you intended for the virus to break out on our ship? Well, we've certainly been had. I'm not done yet. You still have an important purpose. The ship serves as a controlled environment, mm. and the data on your mutation will serve a venerable purpose. Mm. There you go. The boldness of your self absorbed ambitions is impressive. I am always disgusted by what you Americans can dream up. I will take that as a compliment. We knew that you could end up being a liability. Mm -hmm. So we've kept video records of all of our interactions. If they go public, your life is finished. This once again you greed. You, please. Use of the satellite has been approved. The new virus will be completely eradicated. You bastard! <laughs> Full soon shall thou be where thine eye shall answer make to thee of this, seeing the cause which raineth down the blast. Pretty interesting. We know that Morgan is the baddie anyway, so... That was just to confirm it, and you know, Parker is still here, you know, he, he went into a gulf of flame, but he's still okay. Okuchu. Jessica has escaped. We were so close. Hey, I'm sorry, Raymond. You were right all along. Thank God somebody was on top of things. Is that a good time to have a chat now? So hard on yourself, really? Parker. Mate, the ship is about to blow up. Now it's my turn to save you. Come on. We're getting out of here. <laughs> you just you just give up straight away, Parker.
You need to get out, you need to get out quick, though. Parker was just like, I got shot. Uh, that's me, Dad. Uh, see you later. Uh. That Morgan was not who he seemed. But. So we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout. And the coordination of the ships. All to put heat on Morgan. But, sir, couldn't you have at least told us? I couldn't risk it. Not with a mole inside the BSAA. My apologies. All that work in both the Zenobia and the Samiramis. Mm. Yeah, I know. But I haven't given up yet. Keith and Quint, they've left us with an ace in the hole. Yes, the, the third ship. The they sent us, the results are in. Well, what were they? We assume Veltro made use of two sister ships in the Terragrigia panic. But there was a third. Queen died though. Final queen. There you go. The final queen, ladies and gents. Ooh, episode 11, revelations done. And we are going straight into the f final episode of this Resident Evil revelation. Pretty good going. Uh, I died twice. I have been dying a lot in this game, to be honest. More than I thought. I thought this was a pretty easy game, but unfortunately, I I uh, thought wrong. Previously, previously. On Evil Revelations. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Damn. Don't leave anything out. Everything is in perfect order. Perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration on the Queen Dido, Norman. <laughs> Raymond realized. Morgan was not who he seemed. So we set this trap together. The whole How are they getting out? Act. Using the um, the boat Mountain from hideout, the coordination of the ships. All to put heat on Morgan. But I haven't given up yet. They've left us with an ace in the hole. Yeah. Quinn and Flint. The queen is dead. There you go. Nice. The final queen. Yes, Queen Dido. Queen. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Mm -hmm. Which means we'll find her. A Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. Let's go. Let's finish the job. Mmm, the t the T abyss virus. FBC, everybody freeze! Someone framed him with the T abyss virus. show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. Just like that, huh? Jill. Chris and Jill is the final... The final hurrah for the BSAA organization. Remains of Terra Grigia. And the Queen Dido. Approaching drop off point. Hey. That's pretty damn cool. Got two tubes as well. Scuba diving. I mean, Chris, Chris and Joe has been through a lot from, you know. Going through a mansion with nothing but pistols and facing zombies and tyrant for the first time to basically queen, special I forces know. now, is it? Aren't they? Third 
the last ship. Oh, really? You're gonna get me to open it? It's pretty cool, though. Uh, yeah, I'm doing it. Search the sunken ship. Nice. We got the oxygen tank. Oh, God. Can I use it? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, plasma cutter as well. Damn, this is like death space. Or death space. Man, death space was great, man. That's one of the games that was like top notch. My time itself has stopped. The lobs we found on the beach, they came from here. That explains why Morgan cordoned off the area. Bam, 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 bam. That's pretty cool. Nice. I I don't need to grab the herbs, cast illegal custom parts. Um, you can play the game again after you finish the story, and you can grab all your gear, and you basically have all the illegal parts and stuff like that ready. And you can also use the uh, parts that you got in the story on the raid mode so the raid mode is basically like a mercenary mode like a side mission mode at least he dies a human I more or less on the beach with oh. something's still alive careful you won't be able to fight them off underwater yeah I only got one shock um shock grenade Magnum rifle ammo case. All right, just in time, I guess. Nice, nice. More handgun ammo. I quite like the fact that you only can have three weapons as well, so you need to switch between the weapons, uh, which weapon does well in certain areas. And obviously you can fine-tune all of these things um, once you get... Well, once you completed the game, you know which section block. is coming up. I hope the emergency power still works. The wires are all pulled apart. I'll fix them. Okay, I'll see if I can get the power going. Really? You can even get the power going in, in a sunken ship for more than a year? The power will be out, surely. I mean, like, nothing will work. Surely. Oh. I think I can look at something. Hello. There was a there was a little search prompt. Ah. Okay. Oh yes, please. Go away, you big blob. You big blob of fat. I've got another pulse grenade. I don't know what's on the other side. I'm just gonna go in anyway. What's that? Pulse grenade. Cool. Should I investigate that? Give it a poke. It looks like it's dead. Okay. It's a pretty cool little uh, scuba diving bit. Oh no, she is very close. Jill is a exceptional swimmer. Okay. Grab some ammo. Were there any ammo there? No. Okay. Okay, that that went pretty swimmingly. Ammo first before power. There you go. How's the power still works when it's underwater like that? I don't understand. Okay, on my way back. 
Is there a quick way to get back? No. I'm loving the dramatic music as well. Uh, no! Oh, they just kill you straight away. Alright. God damn it. I was trying, man. That was almost a perfect run. Chill. The door's open. Okay, on my way back. I'll just swing behind him. That'd be fine. I mean, these little blob thing. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't wouldn't be able to attack me. This little blob thing have teeth in it as well. That was close. Wow. You, you you actually did die, Jill. Okay, let's move in. How you how can you fix the fo what? How can you fix the wiring when underwater? I'm I'm so confused. Well, at least we uh, got to the top now. There you go, we inside Queen Dido. There's still air. There's still air, nice. What a night for Jill and Chris. And everyone surrounding the BSAA as well. Who's that? He hasn't been dead for long. Still warm. FBC. FBC. There's something in his hand. A tape recorder. God damn. I'm... This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. It was about six hours team, ago. Everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Weltro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge. And that was it. The Terra Grigia Revenge. Nothing to scan here, really? Oh, alright. Thanks, Capcom. Uh, still those little blob thing. Interesting. Thank you. Oh, 160 machine gun ammo. Holy shit. Oh, there's a shotgun ammo right there as well. Just literally just missed it. Oh. Oh my god. It's like table of the fallen uh, comrade. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at the um, the tally on the wall. That's either the amount of uh, comrades they kill, or the comrade, um, or the FBC they killed, the comrade that died, I should say. This one was sort of strongly almost thought of his mutation. So, they were mutating. His love for his wives was matched only by his love for Veltro. Okay, we got another book. 
Oh, it's about Dante and shit like that. Oh. Hey, wow. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Green herb. Oh, I can't eat any, so. I'm just hoping to grab some magnum ammo. I know I did earlier. Oh. So this probably this the video that they were talking about. Get off the screen, dear. The Queen Dido is already deep below the sea. There's no escape, no chance of survival. Unless. Get to the abyss fires. Blah blah blah. But for you, Morgan, never shall there be rest. We rise from the dead, our spirit and callous and immutable force. <laughs> Can't even die quietly. All of our interactions are right in here. <laughs> we shall become guardians of the truth. For as many years as it may take. Oh, I want to see him mutate, man. That would have been cool. Jack Norman was the head of Veltro. And he has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. Yeah, uh, yeah. The video was shot here. Oh, yeah. Oh, more machine gun ammo. Great, fantastic. Okay, I do have some magnum ammo. Okay, so here we go, ladies and gents. We need to kill this guy. Oh, FBC. You got stuff? You got magnum ammo? No. Oh, talking about magnum ammo, let's reload the gun. Vengeance of God. Oh, how much artist thou? Oh. Shotgun. Alright, alright. Unto mine eyes. Okay. Uh, qu quoting Dante again, I guess. Aleppo. Each one shall find again his dismal tomb, shall reassume his flesh and his own. Flesh. There's another box here. Here, what through eternity re echoes. He was like, Are you sure you want to go in this your gear right now? Yes. Oh. There you go, here's the mutation I wanted to see. Morgan! Morgan Lansdale! Go in the old cross Veltro! Why don't they say something? Morgan, this is what you seek, is it not? What's that? Oh, the video. <laughs> Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. Oh, the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. All right, don't destroy it. We need it. All right, can I grab it? I can. Norman's PDA. This is it. We got the evidence. Yep. I've got 90 rounds of shotgun, damn. Alright, see you later, mate. Thanks for the... Thanks for the video. Why do you just stop? Why are you listening to a terrorist? Oh. Is it because...
So jabbing whatever, jabbing the T Abyss virus into his um, arm, that didn't make him mutate. That's interesting. Oh. That was it. Alright, okay. You didn't need to do this, but... Let's carry on. So this is the boss time, I guess. Queen died of 6.40 a.m. Oh, another tyrant. Norman, so stop. Morgan isn't here. It's no use. He's gone <laughs> over the edge. He, yeah, he's gone crazy, man. Oh. Whoa, I forgot about that. It's, it's pretty cool looking, this tyrant. Got a one eye. Oh damn it! It's a slam attack. I don't think he's in the mood to say goodbye. God damn it! How do I dodge that? Oh, maybe I need to do damage. Oh yeah, the heart came out. So every time he does little little eyes, his heart will come out. This is where I strike. Yeah, you enjoy that, don't you? Oh, that was auto aim. That was an auto aim right there. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. I don't want to use all my machine machine gun ammo because it's so good. No. Almost missed it. Just keep spinning around until I can see him. I want to grab that herb. Oh. Look, I, I, I hit it though. Didn't do enough damage. Oh, damn it. I'm really just... This is not a good time. This is not a good time to... I have no idea which way to shoot. I'm just shooting. <laughs> oh. No, that's fake. That's real! That's real! That's real! Oh my god. Can I go grab my herb, please? Yeah, you, 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 you be down. You be down. Grab, grab it. Grab it, Jill. Oh shit. The annoying thing is I have to use it straight away. Hey, saw you from miles away. Oh shit, I don't know. What? I was dodging, bruh! What is he, immortal? 
Yeah. God damn. The fucking rush, man. Any more herbs around the arena? No. No, 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 no. Why can't I dodge? Why can't I dodge his attack? Capcom, please. I got, I got one more. Herb. Oh, man, she dodged that one. Ouch. Oh, oh, we done it. Hey. Oh, ate a lot of herb. Done. Everything finished. Finish. Finally. I can die. I can die. If you're gonna die, die quietly. And don't cause mayhem. This is how Morgan treats his friends. <laughs> I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. It's a bit strange though, is uh it's one of the tyrant that never had a second stage. The means of dispersion. The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Look at that. Bonafide tea of this. No vaccine. Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I mm -hmm. think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes, that the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC? Now that is a nice video. Uh, would you look at that? <laughs> They're like, uh, shit. As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA, and perhaps you as well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. Without the Terra Grigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. Oh yes, the they required do. my guidance. It was no, they all don't. The greater good. You're only fooling yourself. You created more you horror. Abandoned you kill millions of people in the Aquapolis. But I'm not Dante, and you're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale. You are hereby relieved of your position as FPC Commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Beltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. Yeah, take him away. Lock him out. Come on, man. With put him in. Respect, Director put him in. Um, the in handcuffs. The BSAA is making a huge mistake. Where have I heard that before? Not everyone needs to know what's going on in the world, right? Some things need to stay secretive. Um, to be honest, after Raccoon City being demolished, everyone is awoke with all, all of these uh, horror and nightmare. Um, it's not just because 
there, there are survivors from raccoon cities and these survivors are telling a, a story um, telling the experience to the whole world anyway but the world doesn't need to exactly see how effective FBC or BSAA are um, what Morgan Lansdale cause is he cause pain and suffering to the people who died in Terragrigia and inflict fear to the world and and that's not on you know you don't you don't want fear you want you want peacefulness right um, and the way that Morgan is doing things to be honest making his FBC more have more control it's just his own it's just for his own benefits we can finally reveal what happened in Terra Grigia yeah but the cost was high the BSAA will have to be overhauled the storm is gone now but how long will it last Chris and Jill forever partnered into fighting bioterrorism. The FBC was dissolved, majority of the agent resources transferred to BSAA. BSAA would then be reformed into an anti bioterrorism organization under the United Nation. Nations. So they managed to get out, okay? In a in a bloody airstrike. Keith is now a leading figure at BSAA, East Africa, um, East African branch. Quinn, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any kind of leadership position. He works at the BSAA headquarters at R&D. Parker. Was found adrift offshore the Republic of Malta and the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. So Parker did not die. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as the Special Operation Agent for the BSAA Main HQ. Whereas O'Brien, because of his own doing for orchestrating Feltrol just to take down Lansdale. He stepped down as the head of his position. While people saluting and saying goodbye to probably a hero. What he did was probably not great, you know, got people killed. Turning into a visor and a detective Nova. I mean, and for Chris and Jill, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. Um, I mean, that's fantastic. Um, wow. There you go. Wow, 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 ladies and gents. That was a lot going on. That is the Resident Evil Revelation. Um, so the end preview was about uh, Resident Evil 5. So the end preview is about Resident Evil 5. Um, but that wasn't the main story. That was a little bit of a backstory, downloadable story. Um, I would love to play that part first. But in order to do that, I need to complete Resident Evil 5, the main story, in order to unlock that side story. And on my PlayStation 4 version, I have never completed the PlayStation 5. So very similar to Resident Evil 4, 5 and 6, when they did the re-release back in 2016. Um, I just bought it, but never played it. Almost too easy, wasn't it? 
The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You file the report on this. And by the way, why save Parker? I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. The fun's just getting started. I'm guessing that's the most sensible that we have seen Jessica. Um, like, outfit-wise, that's the most sensible. <laughs> but yeah, that's a cheeky little end credits that Resident Evil like to put on their game towards the end. 80% accuracy, I'm, I'm impressed myself, you know? Because Resident Evil 4, I had 70%, or 71 I think it ended up to be, um, which is not great. Obviously in here there's a lot more zombies, a lot more enemies I would say. Um, but I mean the control was fine, the gunplay was fine. Um, nine deaths, a couple of them are pretty cheap deaths, um, especially towards the end. Clear time of five hours, so this is not as long as this is not as long as Resident Evil Zero. So this is right in the middle of one of the shortest um, game that I've played. So that's it, ladies and gents. This is Resident Evil Revelation. So what I'm gonna go through now is a 10 minutes review on this game and giving it uh, a score out of 10 as well, which I'll do for all. The other Resident Evil titles previously. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello there guys, Spooja Lewis here about to do a review on Resident Evil Revelation. So this is pretty much I'm reviewing the game on the console release on the PlayStation 4 release. So not too much onto the 3DS side but that is quite impressive. You know that piece, that game on the Nintendo 3DS is still quite impressive. I never played it, but I watched a lot of footage of people playing it back in the day when I was, uh, you know, eyeing to see whether or not to buy the 3DS, and it was impressive. So that being said, I'm just gonna go through my positives and negatives right now. There are a total of 10 points, and I'm gonna start off with the positive. So the first two positives that I'm going to go through are the stories. You know, I really like the stories of Revelations. I feel like um, the start of the game when Jill and Parker were just like, oh, Chris and Jessica went missing. And then we start to think, oh my God, like Chris Redfield going missing? That's unheard of. Is he being kidnapped and he's being held hostage or what? 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 what's happened to Chris? And then later on in Queen Zenobia, we saw um, Chris getting tied up in a room, but it was all a trap, it was all a myth when we starting to control Chris and Jessica and they finally got hold of um, Cliff O'Brien and the HQ and doing all that. And then the story just kind of sw swiftly move on to like Terry Grigia and what happened there in the past year. Uh, it's just... It, it got a good flow to it. I think I think the story got a really good flow to it. And the second positive about the story is that it features Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield. These two protagonists for Resident Evil is is fantastic. You know, we haven't seen them together since Resident Evil 1 in terms of the story, but when you're talking about the whole game perspective, it's it's been a while. It's been a while and we always love to see Chris and Jill to get working together fighting bioterrorists and they are just the perfect partner. Like when you say who are the best partners um, in the, the history of video game, I will say Chris and Jill. Easy. Easy. So yeah, I like how the story revolve around the BSAA organization and re revolve around kind of um, Chris and Jill and yeah, it's fantastic. So we start off very good with two positive on the story of the game. I really enjoy it, really like going through it. Um, I quite like the episodic approach previously and all that stuff. But now I'm going to give you 
three negatives surrounding the gameplay element of the game. Now, the gameplay pacing is a little bit off, a little bit weird, because what Capcom is trying to do is they are going back to the roots of survival horror with Jill Valentine. But with all the other characters, they did more of the survival action that we see in Resident Evil 4 and what you're going to see in Resident Evil 5 and 6. It's a different pacing and they tried to Capcom trying to make both group happy. That's one thing that I kind of dislike is I think they should have gone full survival horror rather than trying to have a split. But either way, I mean, I still enjoy the gameplay, but I just thought the pacing might be a little bit off, because one episode, one section, you're like, you know, um, crawling around with Jill in, in Queen Zenobia, and then the next, you are fighting 10 million hunters <laughs> with your P90. Um, That's just a little bit odd for me. So another negative point is the boss fights. Um, the boss fight wasn't anything memorable. Um, the only most memorable one is the last one. So Jack Norman at the end with the T of this virus jabbing it in the arm. That is memorable. Um, but besides that, that was a really good fight actually. The final boss fight actually felt like a proper boss fight. Uh, all the other ones just feel like more or less a, a side boss. Um, and of course Rachel keep popping back up. That just feels like a bit annoyance um, instead of a bit of a side piece instead of the main piece. So the last complaint, slight, very small complaint that I have on the gameplay is the is the guns. You know there are so many different style of guns from machine gun, handgun, shotgun, sniper rifle, and all of that. But for Jill, the character that we're focusing throughout the whole story, only ever get one gun for each type. I didn't really see any kind of upgrades or improvement that or any weapon that I could grab that would be like a, a proper upgrade to the gun that I already had in the same type. So those are my three kind of little complaint about the gameplay. Um, apart from the boss fight, the other two are really just a small nag for myself. So the one positive is the gameplay. I mean, it, it plays very well. It is, it's up to date. Like when you play this, after I just play Resident Evil 2 Remake and 3 Remake, which are the two latest games that was released by Capcom on the Resident Evil franchise, it still plays like that. I mean, the movement is even more faster and fluid, I would say. The dodge button is even better than the one in Resident Evil 3 Remake. It's easier to dodge. And it, it's, yeah, the game when you play it, it feels absolutely up to date. Um, you don't you wouldn't feel oh it's rigid and all of that stuff um, the aiming the sensitivity is a little bit too high but again you can adjust for that on the option menu i'm pretty sure you can so let's go through my final negative about this game which is the graphics of the game so the graphics of the game it doesn't look bad like this is a very minor kind of complaint or negative for myself the graphics doesn't look bad, it's just the fact that the game was made for Nintendo 3DS and then it was kind of ported to PlayStation 3 and then kind of sort of upscale and remaster in, Re in Resident Evil 4, in PlayStation 4. That was it. Um, the game looks okay, uh, I think the texture and the quality wasn't as sharp, the texture isn't really that wild, um, you can't really see a lot of detail. It's quite plain, the monsters are quite boring, but anyway, um, the guns look standard, so nothing in this game will make you pop, like, nothing in this game will make you, make you say, wow, it looks great. So the next two positives are surrounding the, um, the features and the replayability of Resident Evil Revelations, and Let's go through the features first. The raid mode is really fun. The raid mode is it really fun. There's loads of stages, loads of difficulty that you can play through, and there are loads of characters that you can pick and weapons that you can buy, you can grab, you can do. You can customize your gun, just like the main story. So yeah, the raid mode, you can definitely play spend hours and hours playing it and you can play co-op you can play online 
So talking about raid mode, you can play the story as many times as you want um, as your weapon improves with the modifications and you picking up more weapons possibly. There are also plenty of difficulties that you can pick from. I think there's the last one, it's like either called Nightmare or Infernal, I can't remember which one it was for different um, PlayStation. I think it's called Infernal on the PlayStation. That is like literally one hit kill and enemies have like re really tanky so you have to master your dodge and be aware of all the situation and not lose time in trying to find a lot of items and that mode will be like a proper challenging survival horror mode. Um, again, yeah, you can spend hours on it. So the last positive that I had for Resident Evil Revelation is surrounding the design of the game. So first of all, the design of the map, um, design of the surrounding, the atmosphere on Queen's Nobia is, I think, is excellent. Um, the office block in Terry Grugia is, is kind of okay, but the snowy mountains are boring. But I mean, the, the main piece of the whole game was always going to be Queen's Nobia, and I think. The setting there looks absolutely amazing. But what I want to focus on is the character design of this game, which a lot of people tend to have a 50-50 split on. So people tend to just slam the two female characters design with, who are uh, Jessica and Rachel, you know who I'm talking about in the game because I did make my comment as well. It does look ridiculous, but Capcom is not going for that realism look. You know, it's not going for that. Um, everything is real. Uh, everything is this and that. No, Capcom's design is to make them more memorable for the players because this is going by episodic approach, and the story goes quite fast. To be honest, when you go through the game, and you need to learn the characters, and in order to make the characters a little bit more attached to the players who are playing the game they have to make the character memorable so you have jessica who is a, a flirty attitude a more kind of seductive attitude um kind of is a distinct design for her for kind of to pump out the thoughts on the players saying that okay she is sus especially after she shot the Raymond being a Veltro guy. The Veltro guy didn't even have a gun and she just shot him. And then all the interaction afterwards just painted her as a suspect and especially a spy within the PSAA. So the reason Rachel is memorable is because obviously her cleavage and that's a homage to Silent Hills' nurse. You know, if you know, you know what I'm talking about. And at the same time, it is her. Um, the Ooze characters are not memorable at all. They are quite plain, they're bland, they're just white and gluey. Gluey? Yeah, white and gluey. And to make Rachel a, a kind of a constant boss who chase you at times within the, the game, they have to make her memorable. So I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10 score and um, this game overall is extremely fun to play and uh, the gameplay element is still up to date. Yes, there is small knickknacks such as not really a lot of good boss fights and um, the guns can be a little bit samey at time. But overall, it is still a very solid game and the gameplay really held up even to this day. So I love the story, I love the gameplay, um, I like the design. All the little knickknacks I have and the negatives uh, are there, but it can be easily overseen. Um, especially with raid mode as well. Raid mode, you can spend 20, 30 hours on it, unlocking everything, unlocking all the beating all the difficulties, all the stages, and unlocking every characters and weapons. So I hope you guys enjoyed the finale, my review, and also my journey in Resident Evil Revelations. Click the like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more Resident Evil title. The next title coming up is Resident Evil 5. And also stay connected, stay tuned on my continuation to the path to Resident Evil 8 Village by playing 11 Resident Evil games. 
Stay safe out there, keep calm and video game. Peace. In the next title, Resident Evil 5. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium, which formed the Anti-Terrorism Unit, BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Freeze! It's not present. Not present at all. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Ah! Now just we are.